oh well that's aggravating i was like partially through the video and it ended because my storage was full so i'm gonna start again all right so i'm here making a video to try and help my brothers and sisters out because there have been a bunch of people writing me asking me how do you discern between what is the voice of the lord the holy spirit and voices of the enemy and how do you know what words you're being told are from God and what's not of God? And how do you activate your gifts? So I'm going to share a bunch of stuff and I hope it helps you out. So starting all over again. <laughs> all right, Lord, please guide me with your Holy Spirit. I want to get this message out to help everyone um, through your guidance and the wisdom that you've given to me, which I so 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 appreciate in jesus name amen okay so we're gonna start with discerning spirits so with discerning spirits this is a super super important one um it starts with reading the word now in the beginning i did not have much of a motivation to read the word i had to humble myself and come to the lord from the grime that i was in and be real with myself and real with him and and i came to him i said lord like I don't have motivation to read your word and I don't care enough. Can you please help me to care more? Can you please give me a hunger to read your word? And so the way it started for me is uh, with the Bible app. Now I have Bibles. I, the actual book Bibles, um, I read those and I read the Bible app. But in the beginning, I kind of started well I started with the Bible app and how it went was I set the notifications so I got notifications from the Bible app every day now I do not like notifications on my phone I don't like my phone going off beep 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 like all day long so I don't keep notifications on for anything um but the Lord led me to do this and he's just so brilliant you know even with just these tiny little things and um, so every day a notification would pop up on my phone and it would have the verse of the day. And so even on days, weeks, months where I wasn't going into the Bible app and searching myself, I was ingesting the word each day because a daily verse would pop up every day. And whether I wanted to see it or not, it popped up on my phone and it would catch my attention. I'd read it. And then over time, I was like, oh, I really want to read more about that. That's super interesting. Or, wow, that relates to what I'm going through right now. Not realizing that was the Lord calling me in that moment. And that's another thing is you need to realize the Lord is calling you. There is no such thing as coincidence. Okay? <laughs> there isn't. Get that out your head. Um, so, I, you know, the Lord would call me and he, you know, I'd see a verse. I'm like, oh, I want to read more about that. And then next thing you know, I'm just delving in. And um, it was just so beautiful, so amazing. So that grows, that hunger grows. Um, and it really is as simple as, you know, seek and you'll find, knock and the door will be open to you, um, and ask and you will get answers. So that's really kind of what I've been doing. Um, I ask a lot of questions. I seek a lot. Um, Wisdom is such a fun adventure for me. I love the wisdom of God. I just love yum, 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 yum. Just soak it up. I want to understand things. I love depth. I've always been a deep person. I've always loved depth. And the Lord is deeper than all of us by a billion gazillion. There is no comparison. So he's my favorite. And I just, I love delving into his depth. So that's been a big big help for me that's um all these things have led to my gifts being activated also i would see other people's gifts and in the beginning when i wasn't as close to god i would get jealous and envious and i had to repent of that and the, the, there was a bit of time where i had to do that um so if you're in that stage don't feel horrible just repent you know lord i'm feeling jealousy i'm feeling envy please forgive me please forgive me please help me um help me to see what my gifts are help me to appreciate other people's gifts and uh please help activate the gifts that i have so that i may be of use to you so that i may be a vessel for you to work through and these are just really good questions to ask the lord and kind of you know where i started you know just 
humbling myself, being real with him, being real with myself. And um, now with discerning spirits, when the Lord comes into you and he reveals things, you know, you have to ask also, I, I ask this often actually, um, you know, Lord, please remove any salve that may be over my eyes, ears, heart, please remove it. Help me to see your truth. Help me to know your truth. Help me to, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? To recognize your truth, to recognize your voice, to recognize your word. Grant me discernment. I would pray for discernment before every video that I would watch on YouTube. Um, I would ask for the Lord to help interpret things to me, help me to understand with wisdom, uh, help me to become more of a supportive person, of a more loving person, of a less jealous and envious person, um, and just things like that. And when the Lord comes into you, you know, and, and also ask for that rebirth of the spirit, um, to be baptized in the spirit and that renewal of mind, cause that is amazing amazing and when the lord when his holy spirit comes through you it's like no other feeling it's not like a fleshly feeling it's not like a um it's not like a happiness it's a it's a joy and joy only comes from god there's a difference between happiness and joy and um it's just this thick, deep joy. It's the sensation from the inside of you coming out. Whereas most things in this world that we find happiness in, that we take a liking to, that really strike our emotions, um, it penetrates from the outside in. Whereas this is the Holy Spirit moving inside of us. It's more of like an inside out thing. And um, I can only really explain how he comes to me. I I don't know if it's the same with every person. It may be different um, or it may very well be the same. For me, I get it's from the inside out. Like I said, this joy, this minty, <laughs> this sounds silly, this minty, cool, refreshing, tingling on fire, but not like a hot fire, like a cool tingling fire um, from the inside pushing out from my whole body like inside out and I and you know because you have that knowing that it's you know your spirit it is a holy spirit connecting with your spirit intermingled together inside of you just and so that's how I know the holy spirit and you know I've had many intimate conversations with the lord I do every day I ask him questions I listen for his answers um in the beginning I had you know some confusion so I was constantly rebuking rebuking this I rebuke the spirit of confusion in Jesus name I rebuke the spirit of worry deceit um wickedness evil in Jesus name and just kind of, you know sometimes you only gotta do that a few times sometimes you only gotta do it once sometimes you gotta just keep doing it you know, because spiritual warfare comes to all of us. You could be in a thick surrounding of it, or you could be in a thin surrounding of it. I mean, it. this all changes constantly. Spiritual warfare, you know, happens around me all the time. Um, sometimes it's really crazy. Sometimes it's not as crazy. Sometimes, you know, I'll go days just completely filled with the Lord and, and having no issues at all. And sometimes I'm like, Ooh, I'm in the middle of this storm, aren't I? <laughs> so, uh, just constant prayer, constant calling on the Lord and opening, like you have to open yourself, you know? And if, if you're not sure if you're opening yourself, you know, call on the Lord and say, Lord, help me word this. How do I, how do I word this with you? How did I? <sighs> Satan, I rebuke thee and all evil spirits and distractions in Jesus' name. Amen. Moving on? Okay, moving on. Anyway, um, moving on. Uh, he'll come to you and, you know, he'll reveal things to you personally and you just ask questions and he'll answer them. 
and ask him to help you open your heart to him, that your heart may uh, become of flesh and not of stone. So this is just some advice. But anyway, he wants me to move on. Okay, so activating gifts. Um, again, that comes with asking the Lord to help activate your gifts. But there's a lot of wisdom seeking with this. You, if you just kind of coast through every day lazy and stagnant and you read a verse here and there and you tell people how much you believe in Jesus and you, you know, if you have a legalistic uh, mindset where everything is so like rigid and you know there's not much spirit with you not much zeal from the Lord joy from the Lord seeking then you're not gonna get deep into anything you're just kind of sitting on the shallow end and uh, you don't go very far when you sit on the on the surface in the shallow end um, so Seeking is how you get deeper and to activate gifts um, that takes a, a lot of different things. You know, I had to sacrifice a bunch of things and um, at first it can be scary when your faith and your trust in God isn't quite as strong yet. You know, um, I gave up a lot of things. I gave up smoking weed, which was one of my favorite things to do. Um, I gave up, I gave up reacting in rage, which was very difficult in the flesh and can still be difficult in the flesh, to be honest with you. Um, I gave up a lot of mindsets that I had and offered them to the Lord as a sacrifice. And just any, to be honest with you, it's all about obedience because the Lord will ask different things from all of us. You know, he doesn't want me drinking alcohol at all. So, and I never had an alcoholic issue. Um, but I'm thrilled about that because I'm like, I don't really care about alcohol anyway. Uh, it's not good for my body. I get heartburn. I'm 31 and I get a hangover for like two days. You'd think I was 80. Anyway, um, it's no loss for me. But, um, you know, the Lord had me sacrifice a lot of things and, and sometimes he didn't even like the giving up weed thing that was, he asked me to sacrifice a lot of things, but that was one thing that he didn't ask of me. And he told me, I'm not going to ask this of you. If you want to give this up as a gift, you absolutely can. And I sat on it for a while because I was like, I like my weed. And I wanted all these confirmations. I was looking up videos like, is it really a sin? Blah, blah, blah. Was, and then I finally, like I had a dream. I asked the Lord to give me, I often ask the Lord to come to me in dreams and visions um, to, you know, show me things, convict me of things, explain things. And I had a dream that just kind of convicted me to quit. And I shared it on here actually a while back. Um... And, um, and then one day I was like, you know what? I just like, you know, I just kept seeing these signs every day, just these little tiny signs. I was like, you know, what? I'm done. Like, Lord, this isn't, you're more important. You are more important. And anything on this earth that I really enjoy, I don't want it to be an idol in my life. So here you go. Take it. And it's just been beautiful. Every time I sacrifice things, whether it's things that he asks me to sacrifice or things that I willingly sacrifice as a gift to him, um, he just blesses me abundantly. Abundantly, he strengthens my faith. He strengthens all these different areas inside of me. Um, so, and, and love, to love is to give and to serve and to sacrifice. And that's what Jesus, you know, teaches us so of course he asks these things of us um because he's trying to teach us to love and it's it's just so beautiful and the more you seek wisdom the more you do these things and change these things in your life and read his word and and try to live the way he lived and try to understand things you know like i would read verses and i'd be like can, can you help me understand that one lord and then bam but the more you do these things the more open you become 
to, well, the less you, you become, you become less and he becomes more inside of you. And that's another good prayer too. Uh, you know, Lord, please help empty me of myself and fill me with you. And, um, and you'll face challenges, you'll face trials and he'll be there every step of the way. And he comforts you and fills you with a supernatural peace that is beyond human understanding. Um, I mean, you could literally be in the middle of a storm with things going nuts all around you. And you're just like, I'm just chilling with you, Lord. Just chilling with you. I love you. Thank you for everything you did for me. You're so worth it. I see you. I know these is waves, but I see you. I see you. You know, like, I feel like we all kind of go from being all those disciples in the boat to uh, morphing into or growing into Peter stepping off of the boat to, you know, becoming Peter falling into the sea when he's looking at the storms to becoming that next stage of Peter focusing on Jesus and you know, falling into his arms. So I feel like we kind of all go through that. And uh, it's just a journey. But okay, I'm going to read some verses, uh, things to help you seek wisdom and to help activate, you know, your gifts. So one I came across was Ecclesiastes uh, 1 13. And I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. That's a good one. Um, Proverbs 8, 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Beautiful. Proverbs eight thirty two. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Proverbs eight thirty four. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. Um, John 8, 31 and 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Proverbs 1, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Proverbs 19, hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. Proverbs 22, 17, bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. Oh, and this one I just kind of threw in there because I love it and, you know, it's important. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. So this last one. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. That is a beautiful reminder because another thing you want to remember is we all have different gifts. So there were gifts that like I wanted, <laughs> but they weren't my gifts. <laughs> and I just kind of had to get over myself. <laughs> and there's a lot of getting over yourself. That's going to happen a lot. Um, so, you know, don't fall into shame. That's of the enemy. And uh, that was a common thing I did almost my whole life just from... Um, being oppressed and allowing myself to stay in a victimized mentality, I would go to shame a lot and I had to pray my way out of that and I had to focus on the loving words of Jesus every day, constantly. And now, I mean like, praise be to God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Because I was... I was a person who was in constant tor turmoil, constant, constant turmoil, always. I used to say things like, oh, I was just put on this earth, you know, to suffer and blah. I mean, like, oh, oof, it's so cringy now. I'm sorry, Lord. Um, 
but you know, I had to focus and on God's loving verses and loving words and learn his love. And I kind of switched from uh, looking at God as solely a wrathful God and living in his wrath to crossing over to his love. And now I'm under his love and I'm no longer under his wrath. And pff, it's a beautiful thing. You know, all I hear is his love whether it's loving words of encouragement or loving gentle words of discipline um it's just that he's so loving and that's all i hear now but um anyway yeah like you know seeking wisdom is a huge 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 thing uh to help you activate your gifts uh, like I said, call on the Lord, ask him to reveal to you what your gifts are, because, you know, you could have a feeling inside your whole life, like, oh, my gift is to do this because I want to do this. That, that could be true. That could not be true. The heart can be deceiving. So call on the Lord, ask, ask for confirmations because he'll give you confirmations. Um, he's a giver. <laughs> he is a giver. So Yeah. I hope this helps everyone, and I just want to say a quick prayer over everybody. Lord Jesus, I ask that you come through every single person who is watching this video. I ask that you grant them discernment through your Holy Spirit. I ask that you pour your wisdom into them. I ask that you put a hunger in their hearts, uh, calling them to your truth, your grace, your love, your mercy, and please just guide them, show them what their gifts are, reveal it to them, give them confirmations, please come into their hearts, comfort them, comfort them in their storms, and reveal to them everything that they need to know on their specific individual path with you. Please help strike up an intimate relationship between you and every person watching this, Lord. Put a calling of repentance in their heart, and I ask them to lead, to lead them to your salvation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Bye, guys.